Okay, we have here another integral from the MIT integration B. This one's from 2013, problem 15. We have the integral of e to the fourth root of x dx. Okay, I think clearly what we need to do is we just need to deal with this exponent on the x. If we can clean that up, it's going to be pretty easy. So let's just do a u substitution for this. So I'm going to say we'll set my u equal to the fourth root of x. And now let's just solve for x. So if I take it to the fourth power on both sides, we're going to have x equals u to the fourth. I'll take a derivative here to get a dx value. So we're going to get dx is equal to 4u cubed du. So then we'll just go ahead with this. So then here we're just going to have e to the u. But now for our dx, we're going to have all this. So we're going to have this is going to be times 4u cubed du. But now for this, we can finish this with integration by parts. I'll use the di methods. So we'll do this over here to the right. And I think I'll differentiate this part. So we'll differentiate 4u cubed and just integrate e to the u. Now let's see, we're gonna to have to differentiate multiple times. This is a good use for the di table as it sets us up to just do this integration by parts over and over again. So let's see, derivative here, this is gonna give me 12 u squared. Then doing again, this is gonna give me 24 u. Then, this is, then derivative here is gonna be 24 and then finally zero. And then this column's real easy because everything's gonna be just e to the u over here. So now we don't have to worry about integrating this last row as we have this zero here, which is gonna cancel that out. But we just can grab our solution here on the diagonals. So when we copy down this solution, we're gonna have an e to the u and everything. So let's just factor that out front. So we'll have an e u here, and then we're gonna have, let's see, four u cubed minus 12 u squared plus 24 u. Um, here it's gonna be a minus 24. And then all we need to do is just back substitute in order to finish this off, but I think I'll make a little more space just so I don't run into problems. Okay, so writing down the final solution, I think this first part, I'll write this as e to the x to the 1 fourth. I just wanna be consistent with these powers because it's gonna be all over the place. Then this one I'll write as four x to the 3 fourths. Then here, this is gonna be x to the 2 fourths, but we can reduce that and write that as x to the 1 half. And then here, this is gonna be 24 x to the 1 fourth. Copy down minus 24, add a plus C, and that's it. And of course you could factor it a few different ways, but I think I'm good, just leave it how it is. Anyway, good problem from MIT 2013. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.